Hello heroes, Joe Smith here. Joe Smith just got back to the shop. Uh, his sewing place in Rogers called, said that Joe Smith's seat cover was done. Joe Smith took a uh, Ranger seat cover, the one side to the bottom part, over a couple weeks ago to this place called Lethal Lure in Rogers. They've been there like 20, 25 years, something like that. Little uh, Hispanic gold operating place. Pretty nice people there. First time there. Um, but chose my sole seat cover. Had a pocket on the front of the cover. Of course, this is uh, where you sit on the seat and then the back of the seat be here. Well, the old seat cover had a pocket on the front of these new ones, didn't it? Well, Joe Smith liked to put his wallet and phone in, in there. That way the pockets were empty when driving, especially long distance. They didn't have stuff poking Joe Smith in the leg or that. And hustle and, like, uh, outside working or something at a customer's house or job site. Joe Smith would usually leave his phone in the truck. And then the little pocket would be a nice place to put it in. Then Plus, if it rang or something while driving, it would be right there easy to get. So, Joe Smith found some extra material that was uh, same or similar as the seat covers on Amazon. Ordered it in, took the material, the seat cover over there. Show them the old seat cover and exactly what to do they said pretty simple quote like 28 bucks a lot cheaper Joe Smith thought pay would be like 50 bucks or something but uh, they said 28 bucks and Joe Smith's like deal uh, said hey two three weeks whatever don't worry they uh, called yesterday then said it was done drove down there this morning pick it up Get down there, and they had goofed. They said one pocket like this. Of course, they fixed it, but they originally had three pockets sold on there, and they had them upside down to where the opening was on the bottom here. And uh, when we were taking a look at it, and so the guy, the manager there, was like, "Oh man." And started talking in Spanish to the one other guy that's the only machine. And don't know if that guy was the one that goofed or if it was someone else. But he was like, hey, no, come back in an hour. We have it fixed by then. I was like, oh, come, Joe Smith here and come back next week. And I was like, no, we, we fixed it right now. Come back an hour and be done. I like, okay. So ran over Harbor Freight not too far away. And uh, stopped at Taco Bell. Got free... Uh, T-Mobile Tuesday taco and then went back and they had it all done ready and done a pretty nice job sewing and all that got plenty of room in there for put the phone wallet whatever need to some uh, Joe Smith used to put like some trash in there too maybe like you stop out of the drive through get a cheeseburger and put the wrapper in there and then we can get home take the trash out um multiple uses so glad Joe Smith here glad he could find somewhere locally that could sew that on for him and not charge you terribly much back when Joe Smith was a teenager he learned how to sew in school but had had a sewing machine in 20 years now so But they do like a lot of uh, like dress alterations, wedding dresses, prom dresses, and stuff like that, suits, whatnot. So seat covers was something a little bit out of the ordinary. Or un but they said it was no problem, they could handle it. But anyone in Northwest Arkansas area watching this, uh, they need some sewing work done. Lethal Lure seems to offer good price and does a good job when they don't goof up uh, just make sure and the the manager there the couple managers they speak real good english so um and they acted like they under 
to exactly what Joe Smith here wanted, but somewhere along the way after Joe Smith left, then it got lost in translation and someone goofed. But mistakes happen. They're able to fix it. Not the end of the world just because they made a minor mistake. So, uh, yeah, Joe Smith needs some more sewing done. He'd go back there again, probably just make sure he drew a little bit better picture, maybe, or her hat rolled out, or, but they seem like nice people, but just want to share, give a little update on the uh, Ranger project, and yeah, it's been really warm here the last couple of days, uh, seen a couple other convertibles with tops down, just has been cruising around the top down today, wearing short flip flops, Tank top even. Oh. Another warm Christmas Eve. Uh, yeah, kind of sharp little ride there with the top down. Hey, thanks for watching. Joe Smith sign out.